What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I'm bringing you my 3,000 subscriber special. Yes, we hit 3,000 subscribers. Absolutely insane. Um, and we did it in like half the time it took me to get from 1,000 to 2,000. So that is absolutely awesome. Hopefully uh, we can hit 4,000 subscribers even quicker. But anyways, this was submitted to me by Wrestle Gaming ENT, and he gave me the idea for this video, and it is essentially how I started on YouTube. Now, I have touched on this briefly in the 2000 subscriber Q&A, uh, but I didn't go into full details, and today I'm gonna be going into full details. Now, initially, I was gonna do the 50 moves to Seth Rollins as a 3K special, but that didn't do very well in views, and I kinda knew it wouldn't. So, I wanted to do something that, is more serious and you guys for my uh, for my specials normally I do things like Q&As or reacting to other videos or something like that so I feel like uh, how I started on YouTube would be a good video to you know continue that streak I guess you could say so without further ado let's go right back to the beginning 2014 let's go so 2014 i was in year seven at school and of course when you're in secondary school over here everyone wants to be a youtuber it just seems like such a cool thing to do that the vast majority of people want to do it and the vast majority of people that do it fail and that was me so me and my good friend zach not current zach uh this is my other friend zach i have two friends that are zach i still talk to him to this day and funnily enough he has actually been very successful on youtube if you guys enjoy minecraft pvp content go check him out his account name is advisor i'll put it in the description down below he's got like 20 or so thousand subscribers now it's mental but me and him started a youtube channel together uh, i'm not going to say the name of it but it was bad <laughs> uh we started it together in 2014 which put me at either 11 or 12, I believe I was 11. Uh, so I'll play you a little clip. Obviously, he was going by the name Zinka at the time, and I was going by the name JLV, which stuck with me for years. Um, so JLV and Zinka, let's just play a little clip of one of the intros to one of my first ever YouTube videos. What is up, guys? JLV here doing a little skate free clip. Yeah, I know, believe it or not, that was me in 2014, which is wild. But yeah, that account, uh, that account sort of, uh, I don't really remember it stopping. We sort of just went our separate ways and did our own things. Obviously still friends, we just stopped uploading to that account. Um, so I then made my account, the, right, I changed the name so many times, but it went through the JLV Gamer, JLV, uh, VJLVX, XJLVX, uh, you know, proper like, trying to be MLG that just didn't work. Um, the JLV Gamer was the first one, I believe, but currently it's JLV, and a, a few of you guys have seen that account. That account is still there um, with the vast majority of my old uploads on it. So I made the JLV account, and I'm not too sure when I made that. I believe I made that in 2015 or 2016. And the JLV account was basically where everything was. Um, before that, I just had my YouTube account, which was obviously under my name, just Joe. And I never uploaded anything to that, but that was my account that I used to like videos and subscribe to people on, and that's what I used. Then I switched over to JLV, and that was my primary account. I, I did everything on there. But everyone, as you would probably think, uh, everyone found out about it at school, and then, that's when all the like violating and people taking the mix started. It weren't bullying, but you know, people, you know, saying things that would get to me and it would uh, upset me, it would annoy me. And all of these people, the thing is they'd never tried YouTube. They'd never, they don't know what it's like to sit in front of a camera and talk to yourself. That is literally what I'm doing. I'm sitting in my bedroom talking to a camera. That is what I'm doing. But loads of people say, they don't know what that's like. They don't know how, like, they don't know the grind it takes, especially when you get to the level um, that I'm at now, and it just gets harder and harder as you go along. Like, or like, not, it just gets harder in quality wise. That that first jump from zero to 1,000 subscribers, in my opinion, was the hardest part. But uh, they don't know what any of that's like. They just see it for what it is, and they just find it funny. You know, it's just their classmate that's making videos, making a fool of himself, and they're gonna take the mic, and that's exactly what happened. So I gave in to peer pressure, and I stopped uploading on the JLB channel. I believe the first videos, like a lot of the stuff I did take down, uh, I don't take anything down from this channel. I want it all there until beginning to end, because it just shows you where I started. Um, but 
I believe I started with Super Mario Sunshine, uh, which is my favorite GameCube game, uh, walkthroughs and like Let's Plays. So I started with that and all that was was literally, uh, you'll see in the clip beforehand how I used to film. I literally set up my iPad on like a bunch of books in front of a tiny little TV. Um, I didn't even have, like, I had my TV on the cabinet, but because I couldn't film like it, I literally used to take it down onto the floor and just record the screen. Obviously, screen recorders weren't a thing back in the old Xbox 360 days. Um, so, I started on there. That didn't do too well, and I was like, you know what? Why don't I just start a wrestling channel? So I did. JLV Wrestling in 2016. And that sucked absolutely sucked you can find the account but all the videos are private only i have access to them uh they are so bad i literally used to do wrestle crate unboxings uh news stuff um it, it was so cringy and so bad but at the same time it is the origins for this channel this channel wouldn't have existed if it wasn't for jlv wrestling so that was that um other than that, I believe they were the only two accounts I had. So I started in 2014. 2015, I made the JLV account. 2016, I made the JLV wrestling account. And that was literally WrestleCrate unboxings. Um, some, I didn't even do many reactions, I don't think. It was just reviews and stuff, I believe. I didn't make many videos, only a few. Predictions, pay-per-view predictions on 2K. I used to do that all the time. But that was that. So I had JLV and JLV Wrestling running together at the same time. And I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do. And at this point, JLV had started to slowly, very slowly grow. Um, and, oh my God, I forgot to mention. Okay, so 2016. So it was JLV and JLV Wrestling. I forgot to mention, I changed the name and redid everything, the color scheme, the logos, everything of the JLV channel and turned it into Jantony. Joe Anthony, Jantony, bang. Um, and that was sort of, you know, I thought it was all right. I got mega violated for that at school. I don't know why. Um, I thought that was, you know, a pretty decent name at the time. I still do. I think, you know, what's wrong with that? It's just my name mixed into one. But... Jantony was there. It was a light, like an electric blue color scheme. I don't really like blue. Obviously, red is my favorite color, red and black. So that's what I do on pretty much everything. Um, but I went with blue. I completely switched it up. And that was mainly, I did, uh, like, I explored an abandoned place in Norfolk. Uh, that's still on the JLV channel. Um, I did loads of things, you know, Black Ops 3 videos. Uh, and I remember my 100 subscribers special on the Jantony account. I believe it was just before I changed it back to JLV for the final time. Um, and that was just a Black Ops 3 gameplay. And I literally, you know, it, all that account was, was mainly Call of Duty and just miscellaneous stuff. Then I changed back to uh, JLV because my main focus on that channel, I wanted it to be Grand Theft Auto 5. And it was. And then all of a sudden I was doing glitches, uh, like how to do money glitches, how to do, you know, outfit glitches. I had a whole costume slash outfit series that used to get a decent amount of views. How to dress up like Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead, how to dress up like Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th, etc. Uh, loads of them little things. And that did pretty decent. The last one I made was how to do Negan from The Walking Dead. And that was when I just started the Jotos Wrestling Channel in July 2017. And at that point, JLV wasn't dead. Um, I was like, you know what? I want to start again. And this is why um, I love this channel and I have so much more respect for this channel. And I, I look back at what I've done and I'm more proud of this channel because I told no one. My closest friends didn't know. The only person that knew about this channel was Zach. And I made this channel, I stayed at like the Rivalry Series, which was our, obviously the beginning of the trampoline wrestling. That all started when I was at like 20 subscribers. And I told, from there, I told a few people I trust. Like uh, there was a, a girl I was friends with in school. I told her about it. Uh, I told some other friends about it. Like I think there was three or four people that knew. And then I slowly started to grow um, with doing SmackDown reviews, Raw reviews, top fives, uh, all the stuff that you can find on this channel. Alongside still using the JLV channel as my primary account, um, I was still watching videos on that account, still doing everything on that account. Um, and then one day it just decided, I was just like, you know what, I'm done. So about probably <sighs> July 2017, 
I started the JLV channel, uh, the Joe Toss Wrestling channel. I think September or October 2017, I went on the JLV channel and made an account saying I uh, made a video saying I quit. And that had probably been six or eight months since my previous upload that I made that. And recently I went back on the JLV channel, you guys, some of you have seen it, and did a little video saying an update and turning around now because I'm proud of the stage I'm at and literally turning around saying, look, I know this is mainly a, you know, GTA channel, but if you guys want wrestling, if you guys like wrestling, here's my new account. And that's what I did recently. But um, I hit 300 subscribers on the JLV channel. I think I hit like 315 subs or something. And then obviously I go back now and it's at like 270, just where the amount of people that have unsubscribed because it's a dead channel. That's what it is, it's a graveyard. And because of that, I mainly stayed on the JTW account. And from there, I looked at all of the people I subscribed to on JLV. I subscribed to all of them on the Joe Toss Wrestling channel. And then this became my primary account. This was the one that I stayed on for good. Yeah, the JTW account became my primary YouTube channel. I, I used that to watch videos, to like videos, to subscribe to people. That was the one I used. Then all of this was while I was still in year 10 at school. So just starting my like first proper GCSE year. And then... Well, if you American viewers, you don't know what GCSEs are. So they're basically your final exams. So, you know, your GCSE grades are what you can get into sixth form or college with, which are the next step in education. Obviously, in America, I believe you stay in high school till you're 18. Over here, you stay till you're 16. Then you move into either you stay at your school into the next step up or you move to a college where you can study like a level three BTEC or something like that, which is what I did. I did a level three BTEC in TV and film. And then from there, you move on to either an apprenticeship. Um, well, you can do an apprenticeship straight from school, but you, you know, you finish college or sixth form, you can move to university, which you guys call college, or an apprenticeship, or you can move into full-time work, or you can take a gap year, which is essentially what I'm doing and just chill. But yeah, so I was still in year 10 at this point, And then, uh, you know, my friend uh, rung me and he was like, I found your channel. And I was like, what? Um, and he was like, why didn't you tell me? And I was like, well, if I'm completely honest, mate, you know, I didn't want anyone to know. And then all of a sudden he was like, I want to be part of it. And I was like, okay. And then we did rivalry series, series two, and bang, bad B appeared. And that was that. So, um, that was that. And yeah, we had bad B, we had Zach Rowe, we had Jack Edwards, who we don't really talk about anymore. Um, he was there from the beginning as, as well, of course, but... Other than that, you know, it just carried on. So year 10 summer, nothing really happened. Uh, and year 11 was when I started to grow. So I believe 100 subscribers and 200 subscribers uh, were there when I was in year 11. And then I made, I got 300 subscribers at the start of 2019. So at this point I'd already finished school and I was in college. And while I was at college doing TV and film, that was when I started to like develop more skills, uh, such as video editing and stuff like that. And that was where I started to grow. So then April 2019, I made the Daniel Bryan belt video, how to make it, and that blew up. I'm talking, I believe it was like 10,000 views within the first day, and it's on like 90K views now, which baffles me. But I went from 300 subscribers to 1K subscribers in the space of one week, which, wow like wow uh, <laughs> i still find that crazy but you know that that's pretty much all like that's the story so far you guys know what's happened since then i've just carried on making content and i've just carried on growing and growing and growing and obviously there's the kip clip stuff which you all know about but that's current youtube this video isn't about me currently it's about how i started so quick recap started in 2014 when i was 11 uh doing a multiple uh like gaming channel with my friend zach then moved on to JLV in 2015, that changed uploads. Um, and then we went into JLV Wrestling, then it went back to Jantony, then it was JLV again, then it was Jotos Wrestling. So all in all, under different names, I've had four different YouTube accounts and it took me until attempt number four when I was 15 years old for something to start actually paying off. Because I used to try, I used to really want it to work out and I still do. Uh, I love being a YouTuber. I love the fact that this now, if I keep going the way I'm going, this could potentially be um, a way of making decent income 
uh, not necessarily a job, uh, you know, you need to be in like at least 50,000 subs for it to, you know, start working as a job in my opinion, but it's a way I could make money on the side and I love that. So I just hope it keeps paying off. But this video is already 15 minutes long. Um, it's basically, you know, I, I think I've told you everything, uh, all the important things, you know, the stuff you don't need to worry about. Um, some of it you don't need to worry about, but if I was to give any of you guys advice who are starting YouTube channels, depending on your age and depending on your school, British schools, as some of you may know, can be harsh. <laughs> it can be harsh. I've seen multiple times. It's like send any Brit to an American school and he'll run the place within like a week. But, um, you know, British secondary schools are rough sometimes. And you know, a lot of stuff was said that did get to me and a lot of things were done that did, you know, upset me. And like from people I thought were my friends, uh, the fact that they could, you know, take the mick like that, it really did get to me. And that was when I knew I was in the wrong friendship group. But basically, if I was to give any of you guys any advice, I would just say, and it's easier said than done, it really is, but don't let other people's opinions put you down. If you're happy doing what you are doing, yes, you may look back in a year's time and think that was cringeworthy, but at the time, if you're happy doing what you're doing, crack on, honestly, because look at me. You know, I quit YouTube on three separate occasions and it took me until attempt four until it finally clicked in my head. I don't care what these people think. It doesn't matter what they think. If they're not on the channel, liking the channel, then their opinion is obsolete. If they're not a wrestling fan, then their opinion doesn't matter because they aren't gonna like the content I'm producing. Um, so yeah, just easier said than done, but try not to let other people's opinions affect you. If you like doing what you're doing, keep doing it and it will pay off eventually. It may take time. For me, it took five years from actual growth to start when I started my first YouTube channel from when I hit 1K subs. It took five years, which is wild, but it's true. Hard work pays off if you stick at it. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is my story of how I started on YouTube, uh, the different steps I took. And I started out with an iPad camera and a stack of books filming a screen. That is how I started. So you don't need, you know, all this fancy equipment. Of course it helps. Of course it's much better to be able to film on a proper editing suite like I do now using Premiere Pro CC. But it's, you know, I used to just edit on my phone on iMovie and I still do. I still do base edits on iMovie because it's so simple to use. But you don't need all this fancy technology as long as you're charisma as long as you've got charisma and you know how to talk to a camera, you're not awkward and you know what you're talking about people will watch. You know, there's there's loads of different tutorials on how to start on YouTube about the technical aspects, such as uh, how to title your videos, you know, doing the tags, doing the descriptions, how to do all of that to get your videos noticed uh, and in people's recommended. There's loads of tutorials about that. Uh, I'm not your guy for that. You know, I learned the hard way. I just tried and error. That's how I did it. But if I can do it, so can you. I've been Joe from Joe's Let's Rest and you guys have been awesome. I'm sorry this video is as long as it's been. I didn't mean for it to be this long. But if I'm giving you five years worth of stories, then, you know, 20 minutes is what it's most likely going to be. But once again, please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.